So guys, in the last video we saw that we have this external diffusion of the reactant A and once it gets into the surface of the pellet, which will be here, it's going to diffuse internally on that pellet, okay? So it's going to diffuse internally on the pellet, it's called internal diffusion and let's see how can we model that. So once it's inside, it must achieve an active activation or active site, okay? So let's suppose it diffuses to a concentration of ASS being the site. So we can model that as the rate being K and the concentration. What's the rate? Once again, is how many mass per unit time you're exchanging. And that depends on the constant of mass transfer and the concentration, of course. I want to tell you that actually KR, this one here, this constant, is necessarily dependent only on the diameter on the particle. So you have a huge particle, you have a small particle. Well, KR is going to be high, uh, not even KR, it's going to be low and KR is going to be high. So what do you want to do is essentially you want to have a high rate here, you want to go, where is the rate, okay, you want to improve chi r, and how do you get chi r big, you need particles, or very small particles, okay, so that's why you want to pulverize, and probably you've seen it before, you have a huge amount of salt, or if you crush the salt, you have this, and this, and this, even though it's the same quantity, by the time they mix, you will maybe need 5 minutes to mix the salt and maybe you need this 20 minutes. Even though it's the same quantity, the surface area is way much here. So it's the same here. There are small pellets, therefore they can go and find the active sites very easily. So the bigger the particle, guys, the larger the pad needed, of course. And that's why we need more. If it's very huge particles, you're going to have small, let's say you have huge particles, you're going to have small chi r and therefore small rates. And it makes sense, guys, because they are going to take a lot of time to achieve the active site. You have a small one, you're going to take less time to find it, and therefore the rate of internal diffusion is going to be higher. And we want that if we don't want problems with. Uh, mass transfer uh, coefficients, okay? What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.